We're at the D Detroit Auto Show with Ulrich Krantz, head, the head of Project I. What is Project I? Yeah, what is Project I? Project I is uh, actually an initiative uh, that has been coming out uh, of a workshop uh, our board members did uh, in uh, 2007. And one of the initiatives uh, that uh, they came up with was Project I. And Project I is supposed to really think outside of the box and bringing the BMW group in every area in big steps towards the future. What does I stand for? I stands for idea, for incubator, for innovation. And this, this is the idea why they call it Project I. I see, okay. So we started out Project I with the Mini E. Now we actually started out Project I that uh, I had really the, the luck and the chance uh, to assemble a team, a new team. And I could choose the people that should come into my team and that we are really creating a working platform so that we can look from a different angle into all production, design, architecture, development areas within the organization, including sales and marketing, mm -hmm. and come up with ideas that could move BMW into the future. So, and the first project that came out of that team was the Mini E. So, now we've gone from the Mini E yeah. to your new vehicle. Exactly. And this is the... the Active, Active e. e, the BMW, so the first electrically powered BMW. Uh, so we went from the first electrically powered Mini, Mini to the first electrically powered BMW. BMW. Exactly. What do the two have in common besides the fact that they're both purely electric vehicles? Yeah, the first thing, they are purely electrically driven, so that means no hybrids uh, and uh, no uh, combustion engine anymore. Mm -hmm. And with the Mini, we started uh, with um, an electric powertrain, the first evolution of that what we had uh, in uh, the BMW group. And the next thing was that we developed the electric engine, the batteries and also the power electronics to the next level, to the future. And what we have in the BMW Active E is a completely new development of electric engine, powertrain and batteries. So this is not what we have in the Mini E. The Mini E was the first step and this is the next evolution. And we introduced that in the BMW and what differentiates the BMW from the Mini E is uh, that we have improved also the architecture and the packaging of the battery cells so that as, as a result the BMW is a real four-seater with a big trunk and not as the Mini was a two-seater because we had to sacrifice the rear seat row for the huge battery and there was not much trunk left anymore. But they're both lithium-ion batteries. They have both lithium-ion batteries, uh, but the differentiation in the Mini E, it's an asynchron engine and this is a synchronous engine what we have in here. With the Mini E, we have about 5,088 single battery cells in different modules combined. Sort of like Tesla. It's uh, maybe Tesla is using the same thing, but I don't know. But what we did, uh, we have cells that have the size uh, as laptop cells right. actually have. Right. And all, the, all packaged. All packaged in different modules. In and case one gets uh, cut, is on fire, it can't spread to the other. No, this is this is absolutely secure. What right. we did there. So we performed all the crash tests with the Mini E. Don't worry, this is going quite well, <laughs> and we had no problems at all with the 600 Mini E's in customer hands. So far. Now in this, this one, case, we just have 196 cells in. So but all they are, packaged they are, separately. They are bigger. I they are see. not 5,088 anymore. So fewer cells, another architecture of the cell, a higher density, energy density, and this was the reason why we could really package all the batteries in a manner so not to sacrifice any room in the interior and also making sure that we have enough luggage uh, room available for the customer. How far can this go on one charge? This vehicle uh, will go about 100 miles on the real world uh, driving mm -hmm. and um, the same is with the Mini E. 
The difference is this is a four-seater, which is another class of vehicle, much heavier. Right. And the Mini is a smaller car, and we can achieve the same range as we have it with the Mini with less batteries and with, more space. Will this actually come out in production? We uh, introduced it here as a concept vehicle, and we will do the same thing what we did with the Mini, introduce it as a test fleet vehicle and it will be handed to customer hands in, in terms of a leasing contract. Okay. And so are we looking at production at any point? Uh, we cannot tell you at the moment uh, what the exact production time is, but next year we will go into production in a small in a small quantity of vehicles. Oh, Rush Prance, thank you very much. Okay, thank you.